UFC 303 is about two to three weeks away, and it looks like Conor vs. Chandler is still on, which is great. But today I want to discuss about the co-main event, which is Ian Gary vs. MVP. This fight looks awesome on paper, especially for the McGregor card. Usually McGregor cards aren't as stacked since he's the main attraction, so the main card and the undercard often don't look good overall. But this time is different. Overall, this card looks good with three big fights with Conor vs. Chandler, MVP vs. Gary, and of course, Jamal Hill versus Carlos Orberg. Anyways, Gary versus MVP is an amazing fight on paper. I say on paper because this fight might be a snooze fest. I ain't gonna lie. Gary's last two fights were boring as hell. Nowadays, he's more reserved and he doesn't take that much risk as he used to. And MVP is mostly entertaining when he's facing a striker who's trying to pressure him. That's when he tries to do his best work with the counters. But to be honest, but to be honest, what I expect in this fight is a point fight. By the two so it might be a very boring fight and the early betting odds are in the odds favor ian gary at a minus 148 making michael page the underdog at a plus 142 this is quite interesting because many consider the fight to be very close and it actually surprises me that people are finally taking mvp serious Remember when everybody thought Kevin Holland would knock out MVP just because he came from Bellator? That means people are finally noticing how good MVP is on the feet, so that's awesome here. Now, I do think this fight is going to be very competitive, but honestly, I think MVP wins by unanimous decision. I really feel like MVP is a different type of fighter, just like style bender, and normally these type of styles frustrate and confuse the other fighter because MVP is on another level. He really reminds me too of a similar style to Anderson Silva or Adesanya in their prime. So it's really interesting to see when someone is able to do that type of style naturally. And Ian Gary, on the other hand, has been super technical in his last two fights, circling the cage, landing leg kicks, clinching up occasionally, and then resetting the action. Pretty much rinse and repeat. But this time, that approach isn't going to cut it. Sure, Paige isn't known for his boxing skills, but he's got a very quick shot from the outside. Plus, Gary isn't exactly a top-tier boxer himself, so trying to land leg kicks from a distance isn't going to work out for him. Ian is pretty much going to be forced to kickbox with one of the most unorthodox, tricky strikers from distance in UFC history, since MVP's style is so flow and go, and it shows in history that it's hard to hit this man. Many fighters have tried, and only one has successfully knocked him out, and that is Douglas Lima. But that was years ago when MVP was much more cockier. I think Ian's best chance of winning this is that he needs to use his leg kicks. I mean, he's going to be kind of forced to use it on the outside, you know, and trying to clinch and trying to slow down MVP. Hell, even land some takedowns. I don't know how successful that's going to be since we haven't seen Ian's grappling. But my point is, is that Ian has to make it dirty as possible to win this fight. I feel like this because I don't think he can win a point to point fight against MVP. I just really don't. And also, I wanted to mention that Ian Gary lacks punchy power. He's not heavy handed and I feel like you kind of need that because if you can't knock out MVP early, MVP is just going to take over. The only way Ian Gary is going to knock out MVP is if a perfect place punch lands or a devastating high kick. But both of those are like lottery tickets, man. It's very, very unlikely. But maybe Ian Gary can surprise us. Who knows? MVP is plain and simple, just the better technical striker with a reach advantage as well with five inches, which is a huge factor, by the way. And I feel like Ian's going to be forced to play the leg kicking battle with MVP. And like I mentioned earlier, I don't think he lands that devastating blow to knock out MVP, who's just incredibly unorthodox. Now, I can see why the UFC booked this fight for MVP now that I think about it. Since technically, if MVP wins this, he's going straight to the title shot. He's going to fight the winner of Bilal versus Leon Edwards. Regardless, I think he loses because his grappling isn't really the greatest, but I do think he really wins against MVP. Ian Gary since Ian is just a striker and I think MVP is going to shock a lot of people since Ian is a slight favorite but with all that being said my money is on MVP but who do you guys have let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like always I'll see you guys on my next one.